You're going to miss so much of your stuff that you don't even realise you're going to miss. <laughs> the Philippines has very limited resources from external sources, especially Western. You're more likely to find Korean food than you are British or even American. The reality is the market's so narrow. Expats are tight. <laughs> I would say tight, but also a lot of the prices of the Philippines are inflated to start with. Um, so, I mean, it's like, I'll give you an example. A bottle of wine um, that normally costs, well, it, it costs me the same as it does in the UK, sometimes a bit more than it would in the UK. Um, which, when I come to Spain, I'm in shock horror when I can get wine here for like 50 pence <laughs> a litre. But the, anyway, the point being is, you're not going to get your favourite crisps, you're not going to get your favourite uh, beers, etc., etc. It's not available. It's very hard to source, even if it is. It's also a fact that it's not always there. Because I think a lot of the time, Certain stores buy in bulk um, from bankrupt stock or something, because you'll suddenly get a pallet of something up here. And you you know there'll be you go in there and it's got cheese and it's the cheese you know Wensleydale cheese and you're like oh they didn't do this before <laughs> and you'll grab it and you think I'll get an extra couple of packs next time you go back it's not there and you'll never see it again. And I've seen this in other stores, even Marks and Spencer stuff, I've seen in other supermarkets where it seems they bought it from somewhere. Obviously, Marks and Spencer wouldn't be selling their products in these other stores. So that's why I make this assumption. But the whole point being is it's not always going to be there. I used to get it with curry sauces, for example. It would be there uh, once, and then the next time I see it would be two, three months later. And then when you go that time, you buy as many as you can. That is normal. That is the Philippines. Um, a friend of mine had it with a bar because um, he um, used to own the Jungle Bar up on uh, Mactan, which does, um, what do you call it, like the fire dancing, all that sort of stuff, and uh, native events. But the, with that, keeping the bar stocked was difficult because... The alcohol you would assume would be there all the time isn't. You know, you may be like, once Jim Bean, go there, they don't have any. You go next week, don't have any. Go there next week, they've got some. And that's that's normal. So be aware that all that stuff you're used to and being surrounded with isn't going to be there. Also, things like power tools, stick them in your um, buying box. Stick spanners and stuff in there as well. Because getting good quality tools is frustrating, um, if not sometimes impossible. Uh, you get those wrenches where you, <laughs> you pull the lever and it's just grinding the, uh, <laughs> the edge of it out because it's, it's just made from the cheapest metal possible. So <laughs> it's giving it that and nothing's happening. It's just making the whole round on, on the actual ratchet itself. So, yeah, be aware this stuff's going to happen to you. Uh, that's why I recommend taking your own. Um, I've got a ridiculous amount of tools and stuff in the Philippines. I mean, I've got my own compressors, all sorts, because every time I went back, it was stuff I, you know, I needed it. <laughs> I'm a guy. I needed it. But also, I like playing with stuff, you know, spray painting the doors, and that's just fun. Anyway, going off on a tangent. Be aware, that stuff ain't going to be there. So anything you think you'll need, send. Also, things like plumbing fittings are good because uh, you'll find a lot of things like the cisterns and stuff break in the Philippines. You need to get um, bits and pieces that you know will fit the right size, um, but also pay for the quality. You know, I mean, the, the apartments we built recently, um, all the bathroom fittings are high quality. All the floors are high quality, to be honest. We spent a lot of money in there. Um, but... Be aware, you need to bring in the stuff that you ain't going to get elsewhere. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.